There's no office coffee pot. Alexandra Bell Abrook has to make her own. But there's also no more hour-long commute from Oakville to downtown Toronto. Bell Abrook still works, but she's now a telecommuter. I commute from my kitchen to my office, and, you know, that takes me all of 30 seconds. A decade ago, the gurus of future shock prophesied this kind of thing. They called it the electronic cottage. With her pager at her side and her laptop computer wired into head office, Belle Aybrook is free to work wherever she wants to. She manages new projects for the Bank of Montreal. Like the two dozen other managers in the business systems division, she jumped at the chance to move her office home. I mean, ultimately, I have a job to do and a manager to report to and make sure the job gets done. But I can structure my time myself, and, and I enjoy that flexibility. Wayne Blanchard is with the same division. He lives in Oshawa, and he too works from home. When he has work to do at bank offices around town, he's free to schedule his meetings so that he avoids rush hour. The extra hours that I have uh, for myself now instead of traveling has been great. Uh, secondly, from a bank point of view, um, I believe that the, uh, the uh, faith that the company has uh, given me in having the flexibility to manage my own activities in my own time uh, really goes a long way to me. Uh, there's only so many pay increases you can get to satisfy an individual. Uh, personally, it's uh, these types of environmental changes that are important. The Bank of Montreal calls it the floating office. The office is wherever the employee happens to be whether it's at home or at a job site overseeing an installation. There's only one rule. Those pagers have to be on from 8.30 to 5.30 each workday. Apart from being available for meetings and to answer questions, the employees are free to structure their own time. Group manager Don Chamberlain prodded the bank to try a pilot project last yeah, spring. There's a, there's a normal caution with, with something like this. Um, the normal questions of, well, how do you control it? How do you... Um, how do you make sure people are working? Those, uh, those type of questions continually come up. Uh, we overcame that really by example. We use a, um, a setting of objectives type of approach, so we measure the results at the end of the job so we, so we know whether the work's being done or the work's not being done. There is still an office for Belle Abrook and her co-workers to come to, but the individual desks are gone. Now there's just a communal area where they can drop in to meet with colleagues or pick up mail. Made those changes on the Dominion specs. Because the people who work in the business systems division were rarely at their desks, they were perfect guinea pigs for the floating office experiment. For the bank, there's a bottom line incentive. Shrinking the Midtown office will save the bank $120,000 in office rent this year. Tony Dimnick teaches business at the University of Western Ontario. He says with the arrival of laptop computers and cell phones, we'll be seeing a lot more telecommuting, but he warns it could be used to exploit some workers. In a situation where you have isolated workers, uh, the company could quite easily say, if you want to work for us, one of the conditions of employment is that you buy this kind of equipment, that you set up this sort of situation, that you work uh, and, and produce, and your bargaining power is severely limited because you're not in a situation where you can compare what other people are paid or what other people are doing. Alexandra Bell Abrook says what she misses most is the daily interaction with her colleagues. But she says striving for the corner office is no longer her goal. I don't think there are enough corner offices for everybody. And, um, you know, I mean, we all want to get ahead and we all want to be promoted. And, and I suppose that status of having a corner office is, is something that previously you would work towards. But I think today it's quality of life that's more important. Um, and what you're doing in those hours between 9 to 5 and not just where you're sitting. The bank is convinced what began as a pilot project has been declared a success and given permanent status. They're now looking around for other potential telecommuters who can be sent home to work. For CBC News, I'm Jeffrey Kaufman in Toronto.